Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to get set up with a material in Inventor to reflect the material that we actually want to start testing with. So if we're going to use uh, PLA, plastic, uh, 3D printing this part, we need to set that up because it doesn't come preset in Inventor. So what we need to do is we need to make a new material. All right, so to do this, what we're going to do is this button right up here looks like a uh, checkered flag, a little circle. That's your material browser. You can go ahead and select that. And once you do that, uh, I always like to like to pull these windows down a little bit, give yourself a little more space here. And then we're going to come down here and hit this uh, button for creating a new material. OK, um, sorry, I didn't let it sit there long enough for the tool tip to pop up. It says create a new material in the document. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the new material, we'll go ahead and just call this thing uh, PLA. All right. And. One of the things that we're definitely going to need to do, um, also we'll set this as plastic because it's a plastic. One of the things we're definitely going to need to do is we need to go and find some information on PLA, uh, the physical properties and the like, because we're going to need to put some information in here. So what we'll do is before we continue any further, let's go jump out to the web. And I've already gone to uh, Matt Web. This is a material property data website and looked up the PLA uh, information here. So. I got the name, got information on PLA, more stuff than I could ever need to know uh, on this at this point in time. So what I'll do is this poly, uh, polylactic acid by polymer. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this, and I'm going to copy this directly into Inventor so I can put this in the description so I know what's going on with it. Now, we're going to come down here and just say URL. I'm going to put the information where I found uh, this information here also. So we'll go ahead and pull that out and copy that and stick that in here also. It's not the manufacturer, but it's where the information is coming from, okay? Um, the manufacturer of my material that we're using is Hatchbox. Um, and or it could also be MakerBot. So we could put that information in there if we wanted to. Uh, then we'll just keep moving through this. So appearance we'll talk about here just a little bit in a bit. Let's jump into the physical right now. So. As we come down here, this is where we need to play around. And these windows may be closed up, they may be open, uh, but the mechanical and the strength, this is where we need to add some information so that we can get the proper uh, uh, stress analysis going here. So isotropic, uh, yep, it's an isotropic in that in the XYZ axis, it's going to function in a very similar manner or the same manner, unlike wood, uh, depending on the loading behavior. Uh, this is isotropic and it will function the same. Young's modulus, uh, we can jump out to the MAT lab information and take a look here and find what do we got here. Uh, modulus of elasticity, there we are, and that is 2.91. Coming across there, 2.91. So I can jump back in here and go ahead and put that in here. So we'll go ahead and put in here 2.91. And then there's something else you just want to think about. Make sure that your units are set to standard metric. If they are not set to standard metric, you need to hop back out and change that, which can be done by coming over to this file with a gear. And then you come down and hit set display units. You want to be in standard metric. All right. So uh, megapascals, et cetera, et cetera, joules. Um, if you are set to uh, English, change that up and then hit OK. Uh, you'll know that as you come down, you can see um, that we are now in uh, standard metric units. So as we come down through here, another thing we definitely need to make sure we have put in here is the density. So we're going to go back out to Matt Webb and we're going to find the density coming across here. The average density is 1.29. All right. Uh, grams. Come back in here. All right. So 1.2, 1.29. Whoops. Come on. Two nine. All right. So that's in the right position. And then we're going to talk about yield strength, tensile strength. So let's go back and find that information. So we got tensile. Here's tensile strength yield. And here's ultimate tensile strength here. So ultimate tensile strength we got at 47.2. And yield is 38.0. So let's come back here and say yield. Put this in here at 38.0. All right. And then here we can put this at 47.1. I believe that was. I'm going to go back and take a look. Uh, ultimate tensile strength at 47.2. So that would be 47.2. All right. 
All right, so with this, we should be able to calculate um, and get some information run through the stress analysis. The appearance, uh, I always like to do, I usually do like to change the color and the appearance of my part, grabbing something that might be uh, pretty easy to recognize, uh, yellow or whatever. So I know that the part has changed. So physical, we're all set. That's all good. We're going to hit apply, hit OK. And here we can see there's my PLA sitting right here. And then we can go ahead and close out. Now, right now it's set to ABS plastic. So I'm going to go ahead, pull down, and put this to my PLA, which is right there. There's my bright yellow, and I can tell that that has been set. Let's go ahead and jump into the stress analysis. And let's go ahead and run. Let's just make sure I got uh, material, got a constraint, I have a load, and we're going to go ahead and run this simulation and see what we got here. So we've got Von Mies, we have first principle, third principle, displacement, and safety factor. All have been run through here, and force, what do we got loaded on this right now? So we have 200 newtons uh, to see that we have pressed on this. So with that said, we can go ahead and start running uh, assessments to see where our hook uh, should really safely be able to hold weight before we go ahead and we surpass that tensile strength uh, or the yield, I should say, uh, portion of our material strength and get into the plastic deformation area. So hopefully this helps set up the material. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about how to set up the actual test.